Ah, hey, you must be here for the cruise news delivery. Yeah, you're at the right address. Oh, you also want another one of those this or that questions? Fine, I have one, but you gotta wait until after the intro. Welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm Corey, and today I'm serving up another hot and ready slice of that cruise news. Now, as we're getting started today, you know I'd like to ask you the most important, most pressing questions of our time as we seek to unlock the secrets of the universe. So it's my job to ask the questions. It's your job to post your answer down in the comments below. And today's question, peanut butter, should it be crunchy or should it be creamy? Ha, huh, that's a big decision. Let me know the answer down in the comments below. And also, you should know, eventually, I'm gonna run out of ideas for these questions. So if you've got one, I'd also like to see that posted down in the comment section below. Well, enough of this talk about peanut butter and questions. Let's talk about cruising. And unfortunately, the news isn't gonna start off very good. I really think that the price of cruising, it's about to go sky high from everything I've been reading. You might ask, Corey, why? Well, with the price of fuel rising as high as 50%, the cruise line's profits are gonna start getting squeezed out. They're gonna get pretty small. So hear this warning. If you're considering going on a cruise, you might wanna lock in a low rate now while you still can get it booked. Because as soon as the profit margins start getting squeezed out for these cruise operators, they're gonna have to find a way to make a profit. And guess who's gonna pay for it? You. So did you know the Carnival Mardi Gras has a twin sister over in the UK? Her name's the Costa Toscana. You might know Costa Cruise Line as the one with the white ships with the yellow smokestacks that have like the big blue sea on them. They're owned by Carnival Corporation and arguably their ships have a much less appealing funnel than the Carnival ships do. Am I right? I'm right, you know it. Toscana's brand new. She's gonna sail week long trips in the Mediterranean before heading to Brazil for the winter. And man, a trip to Brazil sounds really nice right about now. But you know what else sounds nice? A trip with me on my group cruise. This October 24th, we're leaving out of Charleston, South Carolina aboard the Carnival Sunshine, and I want you to join me for five days down in the Caribbean. It's gonna be an awesome cruise. I have a super experienced travel advisor. She's handling every single detail, so I can focus all of my time on spending it with you and whoever comes along to join me. If you'd like more information on the cruise, there's a link to the group's Facebook page in the description below the video. You can just join to even kick the tires. So, how many of you out there have been scrolling through Instagram lately, just checking out all the amazing content coming from the brand new ship, Wonder of the Seas? I know I've been soaking it up like a sponge myself, just literally sitting scrolling, endlessly scrolling through all the amazing sights and sounds coming from Royal's newest ship. And, about that, I wanna remind you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, we're gonna sit down live right here on YouTube so you can come and join me for a little chat. And we're gonna talk about and look at all this amazing content coming from Wonder of the Seas. I think we're gonna be able to check out even a little bit of the menu from that brand new restaurant Royal's introducing called The Mason Jar. So make sure you're here now. It's the beginning of the end for a cruise ship today as the Carnival Ecstasy will be sailing from Mobile, Alabama on her first cruise of her final season with the company. If you didn't already know, Carnival Cruise Line has been slowly phasing out the fantasy class of ships, which the Carnival Ecstasy is a part of. This sort of happened all during the pandemic. Now, compared to other ships in the fleet, this fantasy class, they're definitely smaller. They have less amenities on board than some of the larger ships do. So the Ecstasy, this is her first cruise with passengers since the pandemic shut down way back in March of 2020. I can't believe it's been like two years since then. It seems like the blink of an eye has gone past. And this particular cruise for the Ecstasy, it's a special one because it's one of Carnival's 50th birthday celebration cruises. And it's not just any celebration. This is the largest one that Carnival's gonna have fleet wide. And it's all gonna go down on Monday when the Carnival Ecstasy, Breeze, Glory, Mardi Gras, Pride, Sunrise, and Vista, all seven of them will meet up in the ocean somewhere around Cozumel or Costa Maya, Mexico. So make sure you follow along right here at this channel. I'm gonna try to find some photos or some videos coming out from these celebration meetups because they really sound like a unique experience that cruisers most likely haven't already had. I mean, I know I've never met up with six other ships out in the middle of the ocean 
to have a big party. I bet you probably haven't either. So since we're talking about Carnival Ecstasy, longtime viewers of the channel will know that I'm going to be on her final cruise ever this October, and I'm going to be bringing you along with me. We're going to try to hear some stories from folks on board. They're probably getting on the ship because it holds a special memory to them. I bet I'm going to be able to meet some people who maybe celebrated their honeymoon on the ship, or they cruised with a loved one that's no longer with them, and they're coming back to get on board Ecstasy one last time to hopefully rekindle some of those memories. Well, every ending, it's a chance for a new beginning, and just that is about to happen in Jacksonville, Florida on Monday. Thanks, Tony, I stole that from you. As Carnival Cruise Line is gearing up to officially kick off the cruise season for a ship coming all the way from down under in Australia. The Carnival Spirit will take her maiden voyage from Jacksonville in about a day and a half from now, and it's gonna be a big one because it's another one of those birthday celebration cruises for Carnival. Dang, I feel bad for all you folks watching this from Australia, New Zealand. Y'all are missing out on some fantastic cruising right now, if I do say so myself. But I have to say, thanks for lending us a couple of your ships, because otherwise it'd be hard for a lot of us over here in the US to hop aboard a ship like the Carnival Spirit that's usually over in Australia. Let's talk about cruising along with the upper crust. We're going to talk about luxury cruising for just a second here. And this, it's for the golfers, or as some would say, golfists. I guess people who don't like golfers would say that. Maybe they got their window broken a few too many times on the golf course that they live at. Anyways, there's this luxury golf cruise vacation that might be enticing for you. It's going to be offered by Azamara Cruises. They're a small upscale line. They're based out of Miami. And they're offering what's an insanely expensive opportunity to take a 72-day-long golf cruise that stops in 11 countries at 47 ports of call. And while you're on the cruise, you'll play 29 rounds of golf at some of the best golf courses in the world. The cruise is called the 2023 European Golf Cruise Medley. That's a lot of words. And it will depart from Copenhagen July 10th of next year. This is all according to Golf Magazine. And the big draw here is that this cruise will feature a round at the famed Turnberry Golf Club in Scotland. Also, you'll be stopping to see the British Open in Liverpool, England. A room for two aboard this cruise, it's gonna set you back about 107 grand. A small price to pay for such a legendary cruise? Only you can decide. You know, when I was but a wee lad, 13-year-old Corey to be specific, my very first job ever, it was at a country club. I was a caddy and that's where I got introduced to the game of golf. It was amazing. And because of golf, I got to play on some of the most amazing courses around, even courses where the PGA Tour plays. So this cruise, it kind of sounds appealing to me. However, 107K, that's a lot of scratch for a guy that's as bad at golf as I am. All in all though, it sounds like a pretty unique opportunity for the right customer. So cool. Hey, make sure you don't forget about tomorrow's live stream, 4 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. The video, it's already posted on my channel, so you can go ahead, take a look at it, and uh, set up a reminder so you don't miss it. I actually noticed, I don't know, maybe a dozen or so of you have already popped in and seen the cheesy loading screen that I've got queued up there. It's actually kind of fun. You should check it out here. Please remember that Midships has an Amazon store where you can find all the cruise essentials that I take with me on every single cruise, like those magnetic hooks, or my passport holder. Most of them cost like eight bucks up to 20, and they all ship on Amazon Prime. Plus, just clicking on the links there, it does help pay me back a little bit and help to keep me cruising. Thank you so very much, and thanks for stopping by the channel today. And until tomorrow at four, we'll see you on the midships.